And WIS working to cover the widespread devastation and the recovery efforts across South Carolina. Some counties, many of our neighbors, still navigating unprecedented damage with countywide power outages. So let's take you down to Edgefield County where we find our Derek Rush. Derek, obviously, a lot of power outages there as well as damage. What else have you seen? Hannah, Judy, some of that damage is getting cleared out right now. This crew just came in maybe 30 minutes or so ago. Um, to start clearing this road, Thurman Street, which is just across the street from the Emergency Management Agency here in Edgefield County. And this was one of the hardest hit areas in the county, which is right in the heart of town. Aiken Electric tells us that despite thousands of restorations of power across their grid, they're still sitting at roughly 50% of that grid being down which leaves residents that have Aiken Electric here in Edgefield County left running out of options. A community in shambles. I said it's kind of hurting feeling is real stressful. We just kind of roughing it for the past five days now. A tree on her home and limbs crushing the roof of Deisha Merriweather's car. Yes, we still see you. We don't have a choice. Everybody lights is out. A big question mark remains on just how much of Edgefield County's power is still out. So the last that I was told, it was 86% of the county. FEMA did not include us in the list of counties for emergency assistance. Um, we believe that was a serious mistake, and we believe that is going to be rectified. With no clear timeline in sight, residents say soon it will be critical to get the lights back on. But yeah, water and as soon as this power comes back on, we'll be good to go. Well, but I'm personally a diabetic, so my, my medications need to be refrigerated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's an ice shortage here. You can't find bag of ice anywhere. You said that's the biggest need right now, right? Yes. Yes, lights. You know, even if it's lanterns, candles, all that account. You know, instead of just sitting in the dark. Now, Edgefield County Emergency Management told me that there is a curfew set in place throughout the county starting at 9 p.m. at least until tomorrow morning. Aiken Electric told me 6,000 units of power have been restored since yesterday, bringing their total restoration since Hurricane Helene came through Edgefield County and their coverage area to 26,000. Reporting live here in Edgefield County, I'm Derek Rush, WYS News 10. All right, Derek, thank you so much for that update. Also, Edgefield County officials said that a shelter is available at Johnston Edgefield Middle School located at 1095 Columbia Road. We 